Today, the People's Association of Justice is proposing the city and county create their first homeless commission. KUSI's Lindsay Fucano is live downtown with the latest on this first ever proposal. Lindsay, tell me a little bit more about this. Well, Allie, the People's Association of Justice Advocates is proposing a new joint effort homeless commission for both the city and the county that would include homeless advocates and also people that have been out on the streets themselves to review and vet on all proposals regarding homelessness before they go to a vote. And this includes an example of this would be Council Member Whitburn's latest proposal to ban all encampments right next to public property. Now, we were there at the meeting that meeting that was held earlier today and uh we did we did hear more on this proposal by shane harris who's the president of the people's association of justice advocates he spoke about his idea of a collective homeless commission for both the city and the county as a vetting body within both charters of all policies regarding homelessness and to advise government elected officials on how to spend federal and state money coming in regarding homelessness here's what he had to say people are going homeless in san diego because there is not a reasonable amount of affordable housing. And if you all feel this in your heart, you're welcome to clap. Because I always say, <laughs> we're, we're in church because, when we're, what we're, because what, we're treat, what we're talking about is truth. The truth is, there is just not enough affordable housing in San Diego. That's the truth. And so people are one check away, one check away from going into homelessness in this city. So as I have long discussed, um, for those who say that they're coming from other places, they're not. They're coming from right here at home. And this number, 85% of people went into homelessness here, tells us something, that we must invest. Joanne Stanley from Housing for the Homeless, come on over. It shows us that 85% number that there is not enough affordable housing in our region. Now, Harris also comments, comments on an urgent need for strategy when it comes to homelessness in our county. And he did say that the regional task force point in time count, well, it was well over 8,400 people living out on the streets for the year 2020. That number is a 10% increase from um, the, uh, the years prior. So, of course, this number continues to grow. We're seeing more problems out on our streets, especially in the downtown area. And you could just, um, yeah, it's just a testament to all of the uh, the rise in homelessness and the, and the issues that we're having out on the streets. So, of course, we're continuing to follow this story. We'll have more information for you coming up in our 6 p.m. newscast. In the meantime, Allie, let's send it back over to you. Yeah, Lindsay, I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me over the commotion that's going on out there. Thank you for that report. We appreciate it.